Hello YouTubers! Well, I'm making this video really for a reason, which is not like me. I usually just don't make this, make them for the hell of it. But the reason I'm making this video is because I'm really, really pissed off. And I may swear during this video, so if you don't like swearing, then please leave now or piss off. So, um, you won't like it, because I'm going to swear. I'm pissed off with talking to theists. Oh, I want to talk to sensibly and all they can do and we're talking about evolution of course because that's my field that's the field I like best evolution and all they can fucking well do is talk about the big fucking bang now evolution and the big bang I'm sure you've been told and do it just to piss people off um, is no, they have nothing in common. Okay, so the first cause of the universe and even the first cause of life on Earth still have nothing to do with fucking evolution. Okay? But when it comes to the Big Bang, I realise that there are cosmologists out there Yes, cosmologists, people you should be bloody well talking to about this, uh, or astronomers, stroke cosmologists, and you should be talking to them really. Now, but they're out there and they come up with some very good reasoning over the Big Bang. Fine, I have more reason because they've showed me some evidence to believe the things they say. But you come back at me and you say, Ah, but atheists believe that everything came from nothing. Um, I don't actually believe that. Um, obviously, it came from something. But what you're saying is, God came from nothing, then produced the universe. It's the same fucking stupid argument. So don't piss me off with it. I'm not interested, okay? So when you start leaving me little notes about um, the first cause of the universe, etc. I'm not really interested. But I'll say this to you. In every galaxy it seems that there is a black hole. Black holes are vast swirling areas of gravity, apparently. When I was young, I used to think black holes were just something theoretical that they made a Disney movie, um, the black hole, I think they made a Disney movie. And, uh, Really, I, I thought it was a science fiction thing. But now today, we know it's not really a science fiction thing. There are these vast gravitational areas out there in space. And they're swirling at the speed of light, around about the speed of light or beyond it. And these things are even absorbing light into them. They're eating up stars. They're eating up the gravitational pull of these things is sucking in vast amounts of the universe. And this has all been shown to me through practical and reasonable people. What I don't know is, where does all that stuff go that gets sucked in? I'm not a cosmologist, as I said. But where does it all go? All that stuff being sucked in. Something, you say, comes, can't come from nothing. Um, which probably is true, but there's a lot of something going into nothing in black holes. Now, go out there. And bloody do some sort of research yourself. Go and do some cosmology, because that's what obviously you're interested in. But don't piss me off with God created everything, um, because God needs the same explanation. And you know it. You're just doing it to be... Well, you're clutching at straws, and you're doing it to be annoying. So uh, don't do that to me. Another thing, while I'm pissed off. The first cell is nothing to do with evolution. Its only purpose is the fact that it obviously did happen at some time. Sometime the first cell must have been around. We're here today to prove it. Okay, so that was God, was it? You don't know that. That's a load of bollocks. And you know it. There's no point arguing over that first cell. All I can say over the first cell thing is it was obviously a chemical type of cell. We know of 
early life going back 3.7 billion years and we're looking at self-replicating cells. Now, chemistry, with chemistry we know that things can bind together. Um, given the right input of other chemicals, they can, if you like, expand, create. Even if you look at things like crystals, they can, they can grow, things grow in chemistry. And something self-replicating in chemistry clearly happened somewhere back then. Uh, or even just before it, we don't know. But, the first cell didn't have a brain. It wasn't thinking, oh, we're alive. It was nothing like that. It took billions of years till anything had the consciousness to know it was alive. So, it's all bollocks, and I don't want to talk to, talk to you about it. Um, I can theorise with you about it, that's fine. But, if you're not interested, and all you're interested in saying is, you don't know, do you? Well, you don't fucking well know either, do you? Eh? You don't fucking well know either. And uh, I'm going to point you to this video, because that's the purpose of this video. It's really so I don't have to go over the same old bullshit time and time again. Now, if you want to talk about evolution of species, then that's fine. I'm, I'm quite willing to have a little uh, discussion about that. But don't piss me off with bloody big bangs and first bloody causes of, um, you know, life on Earth. Um, we can discuss that, but if all you're going to do is put fucking God in it, then don't bother me. Okay? Um, yeah, quite enjoyed that. I like a bit of a rant. What should I do now then? Um, I'll have a cup of tea. Feel much better. Thank you. Peace.